boom yes folks you may again how are you going so now that we have discussed the whole thing about subtending angle subtending subtending by an arc versus subtending by a chord etc 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 and having established that for my teaching purposes we will refer to the chord as the thing that subtends the angle as opposed to the arc right again just to remind you it's the same thing two sides of the same coin i am just making a strategic choice to use one side of the coin which in this case is the chord so going forward we'll talk about the chord subtending the angles and not the arc all right so that now allows us to start the whole discussion of all the different theorems that we'll have to familiarize ourselves with all right there are a lot i don't know the exact number but there are a whole lot of terms where the circle is concerned the syllabus makes specific mention of a, of a few a particular set and those are the set those are the theorems sorry that we will really focus on for the purposes of preparing for the csec mathematics exam all right so the first theorem in that set is the one that goes as follows now i have made some strategic changes to the language of the syllabus which i would encourage you to read which you will also find on my website but i'm sure you could find it in other places too all right i have made some strategic adjustments to the language of the theorem and you would find different textbooks different authors different teachers saying the same thing in slightly different words so I don't want people to get so caught up with the jargon, the vocabulary, with the parlance, so to speak, that we miss the important point, which is your ability on seeing a diagram with a circle and all these lines and angles to see through the hairs, figure out what angle is what and which theory to use, which theorem to use to solve the problems all right so the first theorem is the one that says that angles subtended at the circumference of a circle in the same segment by the same chord are equal let me read that again angles subtended at the circumference of a circle in the same segment by the same chord are equal now remember as per prior discussion in a circle once you have a chord there will only ever be two segments so anytime you hear them talk about the same segment it means they're talking about one segment or the other segment right as long as that chord is not a diameter we will have a major segment and a minor segment all right so for the for the sake of explanation we have two identical circles identical chord Right, let me name the chord now a b this is the chord a b that is the chord a b all right so let us have this chord of course this chord will divide the circle into major segment minor segment same story here major segment minor segment so using this definition if this chord subtends this angle in the major segment and it subtends this angle in the major segment and the same chord subtends this angle in the major segment and then it comes here now and subtends this angle in the major segment then what the theorem is saying is that this angle is equal to this angle is equal to this angle is equal to this angle and by the same token if the same chord instead of subtending angles in the major segment now subtends angles in the minor segment so we subtending this angle all right we subtending this angle we subtending this angle here all right and let me choose one more now and we subtend in 
this angle here yeah I kind of had a wobbly line a little bit because of the space now and then we subtend in this angle here then what that term is saying is that this angle is equal to this angle is equal to this angle is equal to that angle and that ladies and gentlemen is your first term all right so let me read it again and go it over just again to repeat the first term now i want to stress that apart from the language of different authors and different teachers and different books being different the order in which these theorems are given may also be different right generally the first three would tend to be constant the first three or four would tend to be constant across most sources the order might be a little different my order I want to believe will be a little, a little different to what you would see in most places but I don't want people to get so caught up in the order that they lose the essential point okay your teacher in school do it in a slightly different order so what right my first theorem might be their second theorem and then they read another book and my first theorem is their third theorem so what the most important thing is that you understand it right I have chosen a particular order which I believe would would enhance the understanding of the whole thing based on how I discuss it but you might get the same understanding or somebody else might get a similar level of understanding with somebody else teaching them and that is fine too don't make arguments out of nothing all right all right so the theorem says that angles subtended at the circumference in the same segment by the same chord note subtended at the circumference no problem in the same segment no problem by the same chord so in other words this same chord subtends this angle this angle this angle and this angle in the same segment are equal this angle is the same as this angle is the same as this angle is the same as this angle same story over here this section here was in the major segment this section across here is in the minor segment all right again angles subtended at the circumference in the same segment same segment circumference by the same chord same chord subtending all the angles are equal one two three four all equal end of discussion simple and straightforward right that's basically it that is basically it so we could round off this particular video now and then we move on to the next video where we will deal with some more of the circle theorems going forward all right so as always stay in the game stay tuned stick around and come back because we have plenty more coming up for you boom